Inside Forecast with Rachel Garceau. And if you're using an Uber this morning, do not leave your umbrella in the car. You're going to want it. Actually, you may not want it later. It may be turned inside out by all of the wind, but you will need something to protect you from the rain this morning. Here's how we're starting off temperature wise. 46 in Ontario right now, 46 in Boise, 48 in Mountain Home, even the mid 30s up in the mountains. Sounds pretty good, right? But here is also what we're seeing move into the region right now. Here comes that storm. This is our cold front. We have precipitation coming along with it and ahead of it. So look at these storms that are developing right now in Malheur County, making a beeline for the Caldwell area. Canyon County getting hit right now. Weezer, Ontario, you're seeing heavy rain at this moment. Emmett about to get some rain. This will just continue to move east. It looks like a Waihee County also picking up some drenching rain right now. So we've been anticipating this storm. We knew the heavy rain would come this morning, and then we have the wind this afternoon. So that high wind warning kicks in at 9 o'clock this morning. We expect sustained gusts, especially in Boise eastward of 30 to 40 miles per hour. That is sustained. That means they're going to hold that speed for at least two minutes or more and then gust upwards of 50 miles per hour throughout the day. The flood warning for the Boise River still in effect and this little line of purple denotes that winter weather advisory that's in place for Southern Hawaii County as those snow levels drop. We expect snow and blowing snow to create some driving uh, hazards there in Southern Hawaii County. Here's our wind forecast. This is why we have that high wind warning in place. This only takes into account sustained winds, not the gusts. This is by midday mountain home 33 to uh, 40 mile per hour sustained winds. The purple indicates 40 to 50 mile per hour sustained winds by dinner time by outdoor spring sports practice time. If you have it, even over spring break, we will see the wind, the winds continuing to be about 20 to 30 to 40 miles per hour. So again, keep in mind that is what we're seeing as far as those winds go. So big weather picture shows that rain ahead of the front, cool and windy conditions behind it. Then behind this entire system, we actually have some sunshine. So tomorrow we'll have clear skies, but the wind will continue to be a pain for the next couple of days. So here we are this morning, snow up in the mountains, rain, heavy rain moving through the valley quickly into the Magic Valley by midday. We'll start drying up by midday, but that wind won't go anywhere and snow will continue to fall above that 4,000 foot mark throughout the day today. There's our sunshine for Friday, but again, the wind will stick around. So we have even a windy and gusty day in store tomorrow, even though it will look better and temperatures will be warmer tomorrow. It'll still be very, very windy. So for today, these are our afternoon temperatures 50 for Ontario, 47 in Caldwell, 46 in CUNA. Now we're not going to see temperatures change much, right? Because we're in the mid 40s right now. That cold front is going to make temperatures stall out. So we'll stay in the 40s all day long. Idaho City, 40 degrees with a mix of some rain and snow this morning, mid 30s this afternoon from McCall, Donnelly and Cascade above that 7000 foot mark. We're looking at the possibility of 6 to 11 inches today in the mountain valleys. Not a whole lot of accumulation. 35 for Stanley today, low 40s for the Wood River Valley. Sun Valley will hit a high of about 42 degrees this afternoon. Check out the Magic Valley 46 this afternoon for Twin Falls. Wind gusts of 45 miles per hour or higher sustained winds. Same story as for the Treasure Valley, anywhere from 15 to 25 to 30 mile per hour sustained wind. So I'll tell you this, if you have a trampoline in your backyard, if it's garbage day for you after that garbage can gets emptied out, you're going to want to pull it in as fast as you can because things will be blowing around this afternoon. If you take your small dogs on a walk, hold on to that leash really tight. You never know, right? With wind gusts that high tomorrow, there's our sunshine a high up near 60. Same temperatures over the weekend, but the wind will be lighter. That is the good news. So up near 60 for Saturday and Sunday, a slim chance of a shower pops up Sunday and Monday. We do cool down for Monday as well. So we'll start April on a pretty normal note by early next week. Good news is we warm up by Wednesday. Highs back into the 60s.